A couple cool photos. So we actually had um, a few of these sent in just the other day, and I thought this was great. Steve sent this in. He said this is what mowing in Westcliff looks like. Well, when your grass is foot tall or so, it probably makes sense to grab the tractor instead of my uh, push mower I've got at home. So beautiful photo there, especially with the clouds in the back. This is the North Catamount Reservoir from Linda Watkins. She was out walking around, taking a hike. Beautiful view there of the reservoir and then Pikes Peak, the background. Great. Rita was out with her. Loved those ripples in the water with the trees in the distance. So thank you everybody who's sending those photos. I really appreciate it. In Pueblo, we are going to be looking at a hot day at the fair. So that's all right. We talked about it so much. You go in the morning. It's great. The evenings are stunning outside at the fair, but there is that chance of kind of evening isolated thunderstorms, at least near the fair. I kind of feel like gusty winds are more likely than actual rain, and it does look even hotter tomorrow. In fact, that's kind of one of the big stories of the extended forecast is some of the heat peaking this week on Thursday, Friday as we start September. The September month can still get pretty hot. In fact, I remember last year uh, we had a 98 degree day in September and that was in the springs. So we can be kind of a weird month. Temps this morning are in the 50s and 60s out the door, so we're feeling pretty good. In your hour by hour, timing this out, we will see cloud cover build through the mid-afternoon, so that'll give us a little heat relief and feel kind of nice. And it's not just springs. Pueblo after 3 o'clock, more cloud cover helps some of that warmth. But the official highs are about 88 in the springs, 96 in Pueblo, so a lot of nineways, uh, 90s along Highway 50, and some 70s and 80s west over the mountains. Mountains are pretty warm, but the clouds are nice. So we have a boundary coming in with some jet stream energy. Not a great setup for rain today. It's very dry, and the models are throwing some storms in eastern El Paso County out to Lyman in the daytime. But then you just can see a lot of this green in Fremont, Teller, El Paso, Pueblo County. That's probably Virga, which I think makes sense in the daytime here. A couple mountains will kick storms off. The wet mountains of San Grace could have more daytime rain. But then into the evening, maybe between like 8 to 10 o'clock, some rain could be out there, but it's just not much on the model. So if you get moisture, I think you're kind of lucky. Like Colorado Springs citywide, it's a very low chance of daytime or evening rain. If we get some, it'd be great. We could use a little, but I just think the chance is low. More gusty winds than actual rain, so probably more Virgo around town. We would see some 90s going into Friday and Saturday. And Labor Day, Monday, looking stunning. Those grills out. Enjoy the day off if you're lucky enough to have it. In Pueblo, we have some 90s coming our way through the entire extended, but then take a look at Friday, close to 100 out at the fair. So it is going to be a hot couple days, but really nice on Saturday. And every evening at the fair is gorgeous. That's where Pueblo has that advantage, those beautiful nights. Canyon City, we have a low chance of storms on Wednesday. And then really nice weekend weather. A little hot, sure, but still beautiful in the evening. Woodland Park's got great day temperatures, chilly mornings, chance of rain today, and then a very small one on Friday.